Hi, I'm Gordon Smith from HTE Incorporated in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and today I'd like to show you the MicroScan DPM verification checker. Um, it's a verifier that will, will uh, verify all the 2D standards, everything from ISO 16022 and ISO 15415, which are actually black and white paper label standards and then for direct part marks it will verify AS7132 and AIM DPM 2006 1-2006. Um, so one of the things the advantages of the uh, verification checker here that it actually uses multiple lights uh, that to look at the code and choose the right light for the environment for that particular mark. I'm going to remove the camera here real quick from the stand to show you this. It will light with 10 different options and you can see by the close up here we can read it at 90 degrees and with a dome light, a 45 degree light and a 30 degree light. Now in the 30 degree light it lights uh, from all four quadrants north, south, east, west at the same time. In addition to that it will read it from uh, north and south, or east and west, or in single lights of south, east, west, and north. Um, whatever it takes to get a good look at the mark. Now I'll just move this back into the stand, and we'll uh, go ahead and start doing some verification here. Uh, the part I chose to verify, before I get into that though, um, the other thing I wanted to note on the verifier is that it does block out all the ambient light around it um, so that uh, it doesn't affect the consistency of the verification results. Um, it also can be calibrated for the environment it's in, uh, which is key. So anyway, uh, the part that I chose to verify today is a laser etch mark. And let's see if you can see it here. There we go. Um, it's a laser etch mark on metal here, and I chose it because you can see on the right-hand side of the code along the clock pattern, there's a visible blemish. That blemish would interfere with, uh, with reading it for sure, um, but the blemish happened, which in this case is a rust stain. It happened after it was marked, so the mark itself is very good. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead, walk over to the verifier put the mark under the verifier and if you look at the screen on the left hand side there you'll see the mark come into view. We'll move it into approximately the center of the screen and from there I'll just go ahead and hit the trigger button and what you're going to see happen is you're going to see the multiple lights on the verifier take a look at the mark and many of them will grade it. Now what I've done is I've set it up to only pass a mark that has at least a B quality grade and this is using AIM DPM 2006. So as soon as it gets a uses a light that it likes it will go ahead and grade it. There you go and it graded and I'll zoom in on that so you can get a better look at it. So there's our mark and we'll zoom in on the grades itself and you can see in all the values it uh, passed starting with cell overall grades in A, cell contrast A, axial non-uniformity, grid non-uniformity, ECC, uh, fixed pattern damage, cell modulation, reference to code of course, and minimum reflectance. Um, what I'll do now, so let me pan back out, I'm sorry about that, and this also will save it as a report in PDF format. So I'll walk over to the screen We'll look at our results and we'll zoom back in. So starting with, this is a PDF file, you save it, you, you select the directory you want to save it in. I'll zoom in on that. Yeah, a little too close, but you can see we passed, you can see the date and time that the test was done, of course a picture. And there's our raw data. Let me zoom out just a little bit. The mark quality, all the values you saw on the other page. And then it also shows us the type of light that was used, 
which is a 30 degree single light from the south. And it gives us our other values too. So this is the report. This is your proof when you make these marks um, and you supply your customers with a part that has the mark on it. You have proof that it's a good mark um, regardless of what happens to it uh, down the road. When it was printed, it was printed well. So it's really as easy as that in, when it comes to verifying the marks. The advantage of the Microscan DPM verification checker is, as I mentioned before, it's all inclusive. You don't have to add your own lights. Um, all the lights are there. It can be calibrated. Um, the results you get from this are superbly consistent. Um, it's, uh, it has to do with the calibration, picking the right light, get into the center field of view. It offers you everything you need to get consistent results, which is what is critical when it comes to calibration. Um, the other advantage of this too is if you have applications uh, for reading these codes in your plant down the road, it also will help you determine what type of light to use. Do you want to use a 30 degree light, a 90 degree light, a dome light, whichever one, it helps you give, it gives you that information uh, needed to make a good decision. Um, so if there's any other information that you would like on this, if you'd like a demonstration, please contact us here at HTE. I'll um, show my card in the field of view here, hoping you can get a good look at it. I'm again, my name again is Gordon Smith. Um, there is my contact information, uh, cell number, um, email address. Feel free to give me a call. We'll be happy to come out and uh, give you more of a tour of the verifier. Thanks and have a great day.